Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Joya, and this is another Vegan on a Budget with Compare Foods. And today we're gonna take our leftovers from the holidays and we're gonna make stuffed fried mac and cheese balls. Whether you're vegan or not, this is a great way to use your Thanksgiving leftovers. As long as you have the mac and cheese, you can stuff it with anything and it'll taste absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. This is some of the things that I have left over for the holidays, so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it. I'm gonna start by taking a scoop of the mac and cheese. Now it's real cold, y'all, because it's been in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna take that out, and you prepare to get messy, all right? This is not a neat recipe, okay? So we're gonna take it, and kind of like cup it a little bit, and then we're gonna make a little well, press it down with your thumb, get a little open in there. We're gonna take a little bit of our collard greens, and we're gonna stuff this inside. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of whatever meat substitute you have, whether it's vegan turkey or anything of that nature, whatever you have, just whatever protein, you wanna put it right inside. And then you kinda wanna go ahead and just seal it up. Now, you may need to take a little bit more mac and cheese. I'm gonna take a little bit more to make that closure, all right? You just wanna make sure you get it nice and closed because we're gonna put this on some parchment paper and put it in the freezer for about two hours so it can firm up. Now one of the things you are gonna wanna do is wash your hands between each ball you make because it gets pretty messy. And if your hands are too sticky, your balls won't form. We're gonna make some more of these up and get ready for our breading station. Now that our balls are formed, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer for at least two hours. Do not skip this step because your balls will fall apart in that oil, okay? So you wanna make sure you put it in there for at least two hours, set up our breading station and we'll be ready to fry. All right, so now we're gonna get ready to fry our mac and cheese balls. So we're gonna take a little bit of vegan buttermilk. Now you wanna take your mac and cheese balls and you wanna go ahead and add it in, with, into the flour. So it's kinda like, I like to drop it on the flour onto it instead of like putting this inside the actual flour. Just because sometimes if it gets a little loose, um, it'll kind of fall apart and we don't want that to happen. Now, if your balls tend to start to fall apart, just add a little bit more flour and pack it together and it will stick, all right? Now, it's totally up to you. You can dip this in the egg if you want to. I am going to pour this right on top of my dusted mac and cheese. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our panko breadcrumbs to it. And we're gonna sit it to the side and it's ready for the fryer. Now it's time for frying. Chef Julia, can I air fry it? You absolutely can air fry this, but I love the deep fryer. You can use whatever type of oil that you choose. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and add this to our fryer. You wanna make sure the temperature is at least 350 degrees. And I'm just gonna put it in here with a slotted spoon. Ooh. And make sure you have enough oil to almost cover, if not fully uh, cover your mac and cheese balls. And also do not overcrowd your pan because it would lower the temperature of the oil, it won't cook right, and then you end up with a whole bunch of mush. All right, so it's been about two, two and a half minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and get our balls out of the oil. And I'm gonna sit this right here on some paper towel to drain. Now our mac and cheese balls are done. They're fried, they're hot. I already know that they're delicious. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more seasoning to it. I'm just gonna top it off for a final little bit of just magic. We're gonna go ahead and cut this open. Oh. Ooh. This is amazing. Vegan or not, you can make this with your leftover, your Thanksgiving leftovers. Don't have to worry about the food going to waste. This thing will be gone faster than you know it. I hope you all enjoy this recipe and definitely try it out. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm Chef Joya with Vegan on the Budget with Compare Foods, and I'm out. Ciao!